तो इतना जो आपने यू नो इस कंज्यूमर को समझा क्या आपको लगता है जो न्यू एज ऑनलाइन ई कॉमर्स कंपटीशन आया है जिसने पूरे रिटेल को एक रिजिक किया है इज इट हेयर टू स्टे उससे यू नो व्हाट हैज बीन योर लर्निंग व्हाट वर द इश्यूज दैट यू फेल्ट द कंपनी कुड नॉट एसेस मतलब वो सोच नहीं पाई या लर्न नहीं पाई वो क्या था मतलब व्हाई डिड इट ऑल हैपन ना आई थिंक वी वर अ प्रोडक्ट ऑफ द फिजिकल वर्ल्ड यस and we went from the commodity world to value added world wherein we build brands ji whether it was retail experience brands or it was product brands so hum log hamari duniya bahut thi online ki duniya ek alag duniya hai online ki duniya aayi hai and usme major badlav aaya jab mobile phone became important when mm-hmm. a dominant medium changes and social media ke aane se and the whole digital world to hum logo ne technology ko recognize kiya if you remember future bazaar we started when flipkart started mm mm-hmm. बट वी वर पुटिंग डिजिटल लेयर अब फिजिकल लेयर हमारी सोच फिजिक डिजिटल नहीं थी hmm. हमारी सोच फिजिकल थी माइंड सेट फिजिकल था हम डिजिटल वर्ल्ड में फिजिकल की दुनिया को लेके जा रहे थे कि hmm. उसके ऊपर एक लेयर लगाते हैं आई थिंक इंडिया में आई बिलीव दैट जो पहले राउंड में जो भी सक्सेसफुल है ई कॉमर्स या जो भी था दे और इट्स वॉज मोर अबाउट फंडिंग देन एनी अबाउट एनी अदर आइडिया बड़े सालों से दशकों से लगे हुए थे बिगेस्ट आइडिया वी केम वॉज बिग बजार डायरेक्ट आई थिंक इट वॉज अ वेरी स्ट्रॉग आइडिया ओके हम लोग फ्रेंचाइज बनाते थे एक आईपैड देते थे और आप ये माल बेचिए वर वी एबल टू सेल एट द प्राइज एट वॉट अदर्स वर सेलिंग बिकॉज देर फंडेड नो दैट वॉज आइडिया दैट वॉज आइडिया it didn't work but it was one of the best ideas i think we created a multi level marketing kind of a program and this builds the entrepreneurship at the local ground at the local ground aapke paas ipad hai aapke paas consumer hai aap select karaiye aur hum pahunchayenge humne bahut kiya but ultimately pricing ka bada challenge aaya ke we were not able to match the prices correct and ye log to 100 rupaye ki cheez 80 mein bech rahe the bech rahe the inme mein koi law nahi tha pricing ke upar ab hai ab koi aisa ab bhi nahi hai ab bhi nahi hai तो so, काफी कंट्रीज में लॉ है कि एट बिलो योर परचेज प्राइस यू कैन सेल और इफ यू कैन सेल ओनली वन से तो सब सब कंट्रीज के अपने अपने लॉ है इंडिया में वो लॉ नहीं था तो दैट अलाउड लॉट ऑफ पीपल टू कम इन एंड बर्न मनी एंड एलिमिनेट फ्यू पीपल एंड आपको लगता है कि इस तरह के लॉ आने से कुछ गेम चेंज होती है आगे होगी गवर्नमेंट अलग वे से सोचती है गवर्नमेंट सोचती है कि कस्टमर को फायदा हो रहा है आपको क्या प्रॉब्लम है डेमोक्रेसी है कंज्यूमर इज द किंग अगर उसको नुकसान करना है करने दो पर देन देन वो कैपिटल का प्ले हो गया कैपिटल का प्ले है तो राइट और रॉन्ग नहीं है इसमें वी कांट से व्हाट इज राइट व्हाट इज रॉन्ग आपकी इस बात पे मैं बार बार यू you नो know... मेरे फादर से मेरा डिस्कशन होता था मैं इनको ये कहता था कि भाई अगर एक एम्प्लॉ को कहीं दिक्कत आ जाती है या कहीं मतलब स्लो डाउन है उसकी जॉब चली जाती है तो उसके पास बहुत सारे गवर्नमेंट के डिपार्टमेंट्स हैं कहीं वो खटखटा सकता है लेबर लॉ है ई है पी है कि चलो मेरा फ्यूचर कुछ टाइम के लिए सिक्योर है <laughs> मैंने जब एक ऑन्टरप्रेन्योर पे दिक्कत आती है विपदा आती है तो सरकार पूरे हाथ खींच देती है अभी आप सालों से टैक्स देते आ रहे हो लेकिन जब आप पे विपदा आई है तो कोई सामने नहीं आता तो ये एक एक डिलेमा है ऑन्टरप्रेन्योर के लाइफ में so. अच्छा आपको ऐसा नहीं लगता no, no, हमें तो हमें लगता था कि भी, अगर हम कहीं फंसे तो कोई नहीं आएगा का मतलब ही वही है ना नहीं वो तो है लेकिन अगर एक ऑन्टरप्रेन्योर लाखों हजारों लोगों को नौकरी दे रहा है बट गवर्नमेंट का काम है एम्प्लॉयमेंट क्रिएट करना जिसमें आप परफॉर्म करो एंड वी वर ऑल अ प्रोडक्ट ऑफ लिबरलाइजेशन करेक्ट लिबरलाइजेशन के बाद में उन्नति हो रही थी देश की प्रगति हो रही थी नई नई प्रोडक्ट्स आ रहे थे नई नई चीजें आ रही थी वी बिकेम अ पार्ट ऑफ दैट जर्नी देन ई कॉमर्स केम इन एंड दैट वॉज अ डिफरेंट लेवल ऑफ वी वर नॉट एबल टू गेट फंडिंग हमारे यहाँ हमारे एफ डी अलाउड नहीं था रिटेल में रिटेल में अलाउड नहीं था एंड पीपल केम इन विद अदर क्रेजी लेवल ऑफ फंडिंग back to back ads and tv campaigns and anybody can sell at that price yeah <laughs> so those who were well funded survived mm. those who were not well funded didn't survive it was not the idea it was all about it was all about an entrepreneur able to raise money to wo euphoria aapko lagta hai chala gaya abhi ya abhi bhi hai wo hamesha rahega wo rahega to ek bada in player this, aayega in this digital world people who raise money is the last man standing people who raise money is the last man standing yeah. and they are now getting smarter and smarter if you look at entrepreneurs today's entrepreneurs jo bhi successful entrepreneur hai digital world mein mm. you will see a pattern okay. their ability to raise money to people product, will, product quality uh, consumer satisfaction that is given acha that is wo hygiene hai wo hygiene hai jiske paas wo hai aur success, raise kar sakta hai the most successful entrepreneur you name all of them i have met all of them and their special qualities they are able to raise money the storytellers the storytellers, the storytellers. who can uh, spell bound the investors yes, totally yes but wo bhi ek kala hai wo bhi ek skill set hai besides the business skill set which they have to have jo ho raha hai wo theek direction mein ja raha hai ya ye ek 
गलत कंज्यूमरिज्म में या गलत ऑन्टरप्रनोर गलत सही मैं कभी नहीं मानता हूँ क्या होता है इट्स जर्नी विच वी ऑल हैव गो थ्रू एंड आई एम वेरी एक्साइटेड विद न्यू जर्नी वेरी वेरी एक्साइटेड आई थिंक इंडिया में जो टैलेंट है जो चीजें हो रही है और आई वॉज जस्ट विद समी इन द फ्लाइट एंड शार्क टैंक की डिस्कशन हो रही थी कि एक लाख बीस हजार अप्लीकेशन आती है उसमें से फिर पाँच सौ छः सौ बचती है फिर उसमें से ढाई सौ निकलता है मतलब इट्स आई थिंक दिस एंटरप्रनरशिप इज क्रेजी द वे द प्रोग्राम हैज बीन एक्सेप्टेड वेल तो कुछ ना कुछ एंटरप्रनरशिप की चर्चा हो रही है लोगों में वो जो एक हिचक थी अपना काम शुरू करने की वो आपको लगता है इस तरह के सक्सेस स्टोरी से या प्रोग्राम से या मीडिया मार्केटिंग से अब लोगों को एटलीस्ट वो हिचक हट गई बिल्कुल एंड स्पेशली इट्स कमिंग फ्रॉम स्मॉल टाउन ना आई थिंक शॉर्टेजेस और कंस्टेंट से ही कुछ चीज़ें बनती हैं यहाँ तो लोग कंफर्ट जोन में हैं तो दे नेवर फील द नीड दैट हमें इससे बाहर निकलना भी जो है ठीक है so, तो यहाँ के लोग अलग कुछ करते हैं वहाँ के लोग नई नई चीज़ें बना रहे हैं आपको फ्यूचर ऑफ इंडियन रिटेल शॉप ऑफलाइन उसके बारे में क्या लगता है वो रहेगा ऑनलाइन कैन केटर टू एक्स नंबर ऑफ पीपल ऑनली उसके बाद ऑफलाइन में आना ही पड़ता है बट आपकी सोच डिजिटल लानी जरूरी हो गई अब बट वट डज टेक्नोलॉजी ब्रिंग्स इन टेक्नोलॉजी ब्रिंग्स इन स्पीड टेक्नोलॉजी ब्रिंग्स इन एफिशिएंसी टेक्नोलॉजी ब्रिंग्स इन स्पेस को रिड्यूस करता है टेक्नोलॉजी कैन क्रिएट सोशल इंटरेक्शन विद कंज्यूमर वन ऑन वन तो टेक्नोलॉजी हैज इट्स ओन रोल टू प्ले नाउ जो ये सारा एक्सपीरियंस है अब मैं देख रहा हूँ कि यू नो यू स्टार्टेड थिंक नाइन एंड हाउ इज दैट जर्नी शेपिंग अप फॉर यू एंड वट आर द लेसन वट आर द एक्सपीरियंसिस एंड वट आर द न्यू layers that you are adding with your experience on think nine so think nine is uh, conceptually very different i think he spoke a little bit about how everyone has to be a digital first thinker uh, a fundamental understanding and insight on which think nine is born is the fact that mass media is over mm-hmm. uh, fundamentally it is the time for one on one conversations and the phone has become the primary mode through which you receive and you communicate Absolutely. now on this phone it's through social media the google's <coughs> facebooks of the world that are driving your social interactions today we actually in some in some ways feel that we were blessed because we were naturally forced to move into this digital uh, zone and this digital way of being and thinking uh, many many different things that we've learned here our first understanding is that uh, today's indian consumers the ones who we want to speak to digitally and we are building brands and ventures for them digitally uh, we want to work with the premium most india Mm. Uh, we want to work with the top 10% of india top 8 to 10% so that is clear you found your clear niche you, your segment that. is clear yes we are again focusing on categories that we know and understand best which is food which fashion is food, home, fashion, beauty, home and beauty and wellness beauty and wellness these are categories we have all experienced and done in the past and right. that's what we are doing in the venture building model uh, what is very very exciting and continues to remain exciting is the fact that we are building these ventures ground up Uh, and they are not built on capital like he said but fundamentally we it's built on a consumer insight and the understanding how a brand can be built how do you find a niche how do you find a new way of looking at that same category and building a brand around it so i'll give you an example hmm. we built a brand called kingdom of white kingdom of white is a brand that sells men's white we started with shirts now we are doing bottoms we will expand into many more categories our learning and insight said that as you premiumize actually hmm. the number of white you own goes up less oh. becomes more as you premiumize 23 odd percent of a man's wardrobe becomes white uh, as, as they, they climb months. up the yeah as they climb up the ladder off. so we said why not build a brand there is no brand in india that only does white sure there's ram ram i would have thought in the other way black no isn't that a black is more, more premium even, statement black is more evening black, black is, is only evening, evening. Achha, like white is day thing? and you uh, can use it at multiple yeah. and now and the other thing we realized was that the idea of masculinity is changed right hmm. first the idea of white was politicians wear white yeah. you wear white in a boardroom today airport looks have white right it's about yeah. that ease confidence you look at resort looks they all have white yeah. so today white is a color of freedom individuality expression hmm. and that's the way we wanted to represent white we wanted to paint a new sort of a canvas with white hmm. so that's how kingdom of white as an idea idea was born i think he mentioned a little bit about smartsters smartsters was born with the understanding that Two and a half crore kids are born every year. Yeah. Uh, if I take the premium most end, it is the most the most way in which we all pamper our kids mm. uh, by doing anything and everything we can for the kid. I you know this best. I mean, education <laughs> is where it yeah. fundamentally begins at large. So we said, why not build a brand for kids' furniture and decor okay. while they're spending so much money on education, on schooling, and on many other experiences around the child, nutrition, etc. 
the home is often neglected hmm. and we thought that it's a great opportunity to build a home furniture and decor brand which is designed for childhood hmm. which is designed understanding child developmental factors mm-hmm. uh, primarily so it's a very interesting new idea like how pets have become such a dominant part of our life yeah and mostly we see student centric or child centric furniture is essentially limited to education institute like Bilkul. play schools or school Bilkul. beyond that at home Bilkul. we don't feel the need jo ghar mein pada pada yeah, hai furniture yeah. you know it's just a comedy in that now we've designed study tables which are meant for children's development the way in which they study is understood the right of after covid they're yes, spending exactly, more time exactly and ergonomics and now children spend a lot of time indoors as well so how do you how do you understand that so think time has been a very interesting journey hmm. we are learning more about the digital media we are learning every day about it but we've built around 12 uh, ventures in this uh, oh so so these are your own ventures and you are enabling others who sure. want to dig so, into so your experience exactly so some of these we own and we operate ourselves and then okay. there are others which we incubate together and we are okay. like co-founders in these ventures so it's it's a it's a great model because you get to work with some very very ripe ideas yeah. we learn hands on on the ground and Uh, these are ventures we literally create it is the seed of an idea that is there in someone and we work together to uh, create a brand and now we're taking it to its next level so it's interesting and one of the best things that we feel for ourselves in this is that uh, we are learning digital mm-hmm. we've learned how to build our own website we learning how to sell on marketplace mm-hmm. and physical is our biggest strength which today seems to be the challenge for many digital first brands and companies So we are omni-channel from day zero. Okay. Uh, that's the way in which we've designed ourselves as well. So you have sort of CEOs for each of these businesses. We have uh, brand leads, brand owners. Or you have optimized some support functions, and we've optimized some support functions, and okay. then we want the brand owner to focus on the customer, the product, and, and not worry and about revenue, and not worry about hiring, finance. Absolutely. So we know, take compliance. care of some of those uh, common services, mm-hmm. and we enable the entrepreneur to succeed at what he knows best, which is the customer, the product, the category. and building business and revenue which is quite typical of uh, you know the group company kind of a structure which obviously you experience yeah. you know when uh, you but know, this is a very different brands. i think uh, what we can look at a reference point this is a venture builder firm so probably the venture first venture builder, builder firm. firm first venture builder firm in the country so it's a pe firm but not uh, you know pe's but is <laughs> operating uh, entrepreneurs who yeah, are building ventures yeah and they're giving intellectual capital rather than just uh, the money just yeah. the money paisa to hai nahi to intellectual capital pe kaam karna hai paisa hai nahi to 